Yo, YouTube, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back for another coaching session with the boy Fatal. Fatal, how you being, bro? You good? Yeah, I'm good, bro. Perfect, man. So, in our last session, we had a real hard point. Is that correct, or am I completely wrong? No, you're right. <clears throat> oh, perfect. I think you said no, you're completely wrong. So, glad we're on the right track so far. So, since then, you said you've had a few games and you, you find some progression. Today, we got a Skid Row hard point. And, yeah, we're just going to go through, kind of work through what you're doing well, things you could improve and stuff like that. Just like always, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the gameplay, any questions you guys have. And shout out to Fatal for letting us use his gameplay. All right, Fatal, let's get into it, bro. And, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, off the break. Interesting start. You're going towards... Let's actually have a look at the score and stuff. So, you're four diamonds right now, going up against two platinums two diamonds okay the reason i bring this up is because just based on the mini map sorry based on the um leaderboard and stuff you guys have the advantage on paper okay not that it means anything but what that why i always look at is are you winning the game based on your rank as in you guys should have won the game or is it one of those where you actually deserve the win okay so i want you guys in this scenario to be like, right i'm playing solo queue what can i do correctly that we're going to guarantee the win so starting off you're going to the bottom i want you to kind of explain the thought process to me straight, uh, straight away so this was one of those I, I usually run like a garage route to maybe okay. secure like a p2 um yep. but as i started making my way that way i noticed none of my teammates did so uh or yeah. none of my teammates went up to p1 so okay right so here, as, as you were going there you were you were shifting between you were going to start off going there but you noticed nobody else was going towards bottom so you decided to go bottom right Okay, perfect. That makes sense. That's fine. So you're going through bottom and you have one teammate right there. So <clears throat> let's play it out and see what happens. So off the break, you have two options. So once you go under the stairs, you have two options. One is to kind of go through and flank them or one is to go up the stairs. The only thing I have with the stairs is if we actually play this out and just think what's going to happen, once you get up these stairs, right, you're probably going to have a gunfight with somebody that's going to be around here. Okay. The only thing I would say is you're at the disadvantage in my opinion. Now, right now, if I was on the other team, and I got here with a sub, and you're coming up these stairs, I think I have the advantage if I'm the blue player, because I'm probably gonna chuck a stun there and keep you stunned. Or even if I don't, I feel like right now, the way you kind of slid in, I don't know, let me know, like, tell me what you think, but I feel like the person re-aiming you here probably has the advantage, what do you think? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, and again, it's just about setting up before, like, I don't mind this play, obviously it's off the start, but I'm just saying that like, the way you slide out, if I was him and I was just pre-aiming you, he's going to be centered onto you right now. So I just think it's a little bit risky going care with a, with an AR. I personally don't love it. But at the same time, you know, you got there. Let's just see what happens. So you're going through. Now, it's very important based on where your teammates are to make, make a decision. So right now you're going up, okay? So you're about there. Now, we have no intel so far. Now, what we're going to use is two things. One is the minimap. And the second is a kill feed, okay? That's going to give us the intel. So right now we look at the minimap. We see I have one teammate around there. So he's not with me, but he's behind me. We have one teammate on the left, and we have one teammate. If you can see under your name there, he actually looks like he's in garage. So we have one teammate in garage. We have one teammate coming through the left. So I don't really know where they are. It looks like you guys have a lot of map control. There's probably one of them on the hill at minimum, because it's obviously contested. It's red. Maybe two of them. And where would you say the other one is? Other one or two players are? We're just guessing uh, at this point, but where would you guess? Probably P2. P2? I'm having a fair guess. I would say the same thing. So right now I'm going to put one at P2 and I'm going to put one maybe back garage and I'm going to say that this door's um, maybe not open. I don't know. We're just going to guess for now. Let's kind of play out and see what happens. So straight away you're going to go through and we can see there's actually two people. There's two people back P2. So just my opinion on that in, as a whole is I don't love this play from the opponents because I think what they're doing is they've already got P2 kind of the spawns. They're really, really holding those spawns and they're kind of giving away P1. So if you guys pinch P1 now, you should have a 40 second lead going into P2 where you could potentially break it. However, P2 is very, very valuable. So I do see them stacking it. It just depends how you guys see it. I personally think one is enough and having other people pushed out is, is beneficial. But the reason I bring this up is because now you know two people are on P2. What does that tell you? It tells me there's two people around the hill maximum. Right, right. Yeah? So the way you play it now, you should be playing for two people. So let's see what you do. I love this stun. So that's a really good stun. That's just a great way of opening up the blood there. So what you did there was perfect. No problems with that. And now it's about the rotation, okay? So we're looking at the minimap. We have one person on our right. So you right now have to look at the minimap. This is so important. Everyone watching, we're going to break down how spawns work right now. So Fatu, I want you to tell me right now, where do you think the spawn points are? What do you think is going to happen going in the next five, ten seconds? So they're either going to be spawned in P2 or the spawns are going to flip and they're going to spawn like laundry area. Okay. So yeah, what happens is on the start, the spawns are kind of weird. You start off around there, right? And then right. there. 
as the game progresses like you're seeing now the spawns are going to kind of flip it gets a bit strange but they're going to start to spawn around p3 and then the other team's going to be around p4 so it starts to be a little bit weird instead of spawning there and there it starts to go up and down so right now based on the minimap because i'm you know you got the kill there's still two of them around there i'm expecting the other blue players to spawn around p3 just based on the minimap but then you have somebody there so it's a bit strange it just kind of depends right now but i would say they might spawn in front of you let's see what happens so you see one goes through and just kind of holding this angle i don't mind you holding this right now and then as soon as your teammate pushes that area there that should give you indication that this side's clear there you go so i actually like what you did there so like i said they end up spawning here and what ended up happening was you guys got really bad timing but because you held that angle it worked out okay so if you look here I would have actually given up if I was you and just turned around for a second and maybe chucked a nade because my teammate has that angle. But what ended up happening was this. The blue guy pushed through. You're red, right? As your teammate was jumping around the corner, he just went there. Does that make sense? Right. So he was just there. So he got bad timing. So as he's chasing him, I, if I was you, I probably would have just chucked a grenade there and turned around. But you actually made a good play. You were holding it just for the in-case moment, which is exactly what happened. So your teammate just got really bad timing. You end up catching him in the dark there and you're taking him out. So you go through, you hold the angle. Now, one thing about this generally is when you're holding angles like this, what you want to be wary of is you don't want to get slide cancel like what just happened there. You want to be cautious. So one thing is the way you're holding your angle, you want to be a little bit more, um, one, strafing. Strafing is a big one. You want to be strafing to activate your aim assist. And two, you want to be playing off angle so that when he does come, he doesn't know exactly where you're going to be. Okay? So just make sure you're mixing up your angles and stuff like that. Now you're going through. You're going to hold the rest of the time. Again, I don't mind this. 20 seconds left. You want to hope for your teammates to start rotating here. The second I see my teammate spawn Barber, the second my teammate spawns there, I'm actually thinking, oh no, this isn't good. They're probably going to get everyone in the new hardpoint here. So although you have a decent lead, we're going to have to break P2 here, which is very, very tricky. So you're going to go through. Let's kind of see how you break this one. So if you were playing right now, if we can pause this for a second, where do you expect everyone to be from the uh, other side here? So when you say P2, P2. What, what do you think their setup's going to be? So probably one P5 on the container okay. somewhere. Uh, okay. One bottom P2, one top P2, and probably one garage. Okay. So do you like this setup from them? Uh, yeah. The problem I have with this setup is I don't like double stacking P2. I think that this setup's fine, but I think you need one more person free roaming a little bit and just ba making sure that they can just basically go where the pressure is. And let me explain why. The way to break P2, in my opinion, is you basically want to trap the opponents like this. You want to trap them. You want two people in the hill. You want the rest coming through tunnel, right? This is how you can break it. You want, then you have garage control. So you keep garage control. You send two people through to P5. Okay, so this is how you want to break it. You have two people like this. Right now, all three of these players should be pinging shots across, getting closer and closer. While this is happening, it's very crucial. The red team can't die here. While this is happening, you want to send somebody on the pinch. The second he pinches and takes out these two players or gets some shots off, you three start to push up. Okay, so it's basically a massive pinch here. So the goal is you want to keep the blue team trapped here. So if that's your goal, if you're trying to keep the blue team trapped there, if I'm the blue team, I don't want two people already in the trap. Does that make sense? Right. Like I don't want them to be already there because what happens is as soon as this guy dies, right? Let's just play it out the way you said it. Let's just have it like this. If you send two people garage, let's just say you and your teammate goes garage and you kill this guy, where's he going to spawn? He's going to spawn uh, on Barber. Yep, exactly. So then naturally he's going to go through there, right? Yeah. So you're saying if this is their setup, all you have to do from this point is kill this player and then you set that spawn trap up. So for me, you want a bit more map control. You want to push out a little bit more. You don't, I don't mind someone here. I don't mind someone in garage. I actually like that play. But I think this player here has to be a bit more mobile. A little bit like just playing off angles. So playing either there, helping in garage, playing off angles P5. Just making sure that the pressure of the red team is kind of split up. Just making the red teams a lot harder to play against. So let's go through and see what happens there. So right now, when you're playing solo queue, okay... This isn't an easy thing to break, I'll be honest. It's not easy, but what you're trying to do is this. You're trying to get the first kill. Once you get that first kill, what you want to then do is pinch with your team and try to break the hill before the guy you just killed re kind of reforces the team, okay? So let's play it out. So your teammate just dies in garage. 
So now you're going through, you see the rest of your teammates going through the left. So your team's going through the left right now, and you're kind of fighting somebody in garage. So your teammate should spawn P3, and at this point, it's just about breaking the hill. So you see one close, and I feel like right now, you kind of got distracted a little bit. And let's just see how you could have played this slightly better. So off the break here, five seconds left. Do you have any questions so far, by the way? No, no, I'm good. Okay, perfect. So as you go through... You kind of go for your teammate is there and he ends up dying the second he dies it's a bit annoying from your side because you're like he could have just waited for two seconds that would have been perfect so now you're going to go through now in this scenario he's given up garage so that tells me a few things what does that tell you what, what are you thinking about this scenario right now he's given up garage uh he's probably rotating around to pinch or uh, reinforce ticket I would say the exact same thing, right? So I think right now, if you look at your setup, you actually only have one person ticket and you, you're over there. Because your other teammate, if we look at the mini map, he's just died and the other one's around P3. So this is your setup right now. What they probably have is they probably have around two on the hill, one in garage, maybe one there. Would you say that's a fair setup? Yeah. The second he turns around and gives up garage, that tells me right now, I wouldn't have shot here. Again, this is all hindsight. I know it's very easy to say. In the moment, I completely understand why you did it. But I'm just telling you what I think you could have done. So right now, if you see this guy run away, I would think, oh, hang on. I'm expecting his teammates, right? I'm pretty sure they're not going to have the coordination that as soon as he backs away, they're going to have someone replacing him and watching Garage. Okay? So what I probably would have done is said, right, he can turn around and help them. There's probably a three-second gap here when no one's watching Garage. So during that time, I probably would have tried to shoulder it and just see if I can take somebody off the hill. Just see if I can shoot someone off the hill because there's a little bit of an opening there. You see what I mean? Right. But can you see the opening as well? Like, can you see what I'm, what I'm talking about? Because that guy left yeah. it, right? As soon as he left it and you shot... You've now shot, right? What happens? The guy in the hill? Oh, shit. There's someone in the garage. He's going to watch it. You've given up your card. Your playing card there, you gave it up. Now he comes back. It's too late now. Even this slide out for me, your job right now is very important. Your job is to keep them out of garage. You are actually doing your job right now. This is so crucial. If this player here is in garage, what happens? You can't get into that area. You are kind of trapped, okay? You're, you're around there and your four people are trapped ticket. You right now, the fact that you have map control here and you've kept this guy out of garage, your job now is to distract. Keep them out of garage and just buy time for your teammates. You have three teammates on the left. What you're trying to do, if you can distract two enemies here, if you can keep two of them on you, that's perfect. You don't need to get the kill. And that's why I want people to start understanding. It's not about being a superstar. You're not going to 1v4 them right now, no. But if you can distract two of them, let your teammates kill number three and then push up, you then have more map control okay so right now the only thing i don't love what you did is once you kind of got the map control here instead of like putting your trophy down playing your life you slide out right now i think against any player that's decent if they're on the hill right now they peek you they kill you right now would you say that's fair yes sir because right now you see how you're out in the open if i'm the opponent and i'm peeking that i'm like, oh that's an easy kill so i feel like right now you got a little bit oh shit but then you backed away now i think the only reason you backed away was probably because of the grenade i don't know if that's true but it worked out okay. And there you go. You kill Jack. The second you kill him, it's perfect. Because now you can push forward. You can distract them. And that's exactly what you're doing. You see, you're going through. You're trying to watch the cross. And again, it's just a little bit unfortunate with the timings. But you're doing your job. You're getting two. This is just one of those hills where it's very, very hard to break. Okay, so I'm not going to really, you know, go crazy there. But you did your job there. You did a you did a good job. You got a few kills. I think they trolled a little bit. They let you get a, free, a few freebies. But overall, you did your job. So as soon as you get this kill... Again, you're just trying to cut the pressure right now. You know they're spawning tunnel. So your job right now is either to get on the hill, you're either going to jump up on the hill and kill the guy there, or you're going to cut the lane and cut the pressure off. So what you're doing right now is cutting the pressure off, which I'm okay with, but you have to decide what you're doing. Because right now, you can see, as you're going closer, where's your crosshair right now? It looks like you're about to jump up. I wouldn't know that you're looking to the right until you get closer right so it's just about right. what you're trying to do but again good shots i just feel like against a better player there again i'm being very harsh but i think against a better player like right now if i'm a better player right there he probably should kill you because you're taking a little bit long to react to that what do you think about that yeah i was kind yeah? of expecting somebody to be on the dumpster so that's kind of why i was looking yeah there. Okay, now again, I don't mind that. It's just, you've really killed like three there. I feel like you know they're all spawning there. At this point, if you're going to commit to the right, just be a little bit earlier. Like right now, if, again, if he was ready for that gunfight, look, you're not even named in. He probably should have killed you. 
It wasn't a bad play. It was just being a little bit more um, snappy with your, with your aim there. I think if they were better, they'd kill you. But great break from you. Really good break. You go through. You get taken out. The trades are going in. Not the end of the world. Could have been cleaner at the end. But I think you did your job. You got a few kills. It's all right. They get 20 seconds. It is what it is. Now, this is where the mistakes can start to spiral. 20 seconds left. If you didn't break the hill in 40 seconds, how likely do you think you are, it is to break the hill now? Oh, yeah, probably not. Oh, like, probably. honestly, like, just think logically, right? If you didn't break it in 40 seconds, what chance do you have breaking it now? Now, let's say you do break it. What benefit do you have? Your standing ticket, right? Let's say you go through and you break this hill. This is the biggest problem right now. Everything else I've seen, you, you've done fine. Right now, this is the problem. You going towards this hill, let's just talk about the effect it has, a knock-on effect, okay? If we were to start off on this P3, where would you want to spawn? Where, what would you like as your optimal setup right now? What would you like? If you're the red team, give me an optimal setup. Give me give me places to put people. Uh, probably one on P3 double doors. Okay. Um, one on like the box or on the dumpster right there somewhere. Uh, around uh, there or on the left, on the hill? On the hill. Uh, okay. Probably one, some maybe like up near fire or platform. Just to okay, like a cool. Reinforcement and then uh, okay. we'll one have them there. around laundry. Uh, and laundry is apartments? Yeah. All right, cool. A few small tweaks with this. I actually think this is fine. I think the biggest thing you want to be responsible for, the biggest thing you want to watch out for is top middle. What your goal is, okay, on P3 and P4, your goal is to keep the enemy team on the left of this line. Now, do you want to challenge that? Would you agree? What, what do you think about that? No, I, I agree, 100%. So you're saying 100%, okay? If we look at your gameplay... You can see what you're doing now is you've crossed the red line. And if it was all up to you right now, where are you? You're, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You're around there. Okay. If I said to you, you want to keep your opponents trapped here. And then I said, but at the same time, you're over there with 20 seconds left. Where, what would you think of this scenario? Where would you expect the blue team to spawn based on this picture? Probably P4. Ex ex spot on. So would you say this is a good scenario to be in or not really? With 20 seconds left, granted, so 18 seconds, you haven't even got to the hill yet, okay? You're pushing up. This is where the problem starts to, starts to spiral. If the opponents had better gun skill than your team, okay? Right now, I can clearly see you've got better gun skill than them. You get away with it. If they were a better team than you, <clears throat> and they won more gunfights, what does that mean? It means you have to play smarter than them. The problem you have is you're right here. If they're spawning P4 and they're pushing through, okay, every single kill that they get, let's just say you beam this guy out, because that's your goal. Your goal right now is clearly to get this kill. Would you agree with that? You're, yeah. you're clearly trying to get this kill. So let's say, you know what? Great shots fail. You take him out, okay? You take him out. Let's just play it out. Let's just play it out. You take him out. Your teammate then dies. What happens? They get P3. Your teammate spawns there. And they spawn back apart. The guy that you just killed spawns back apartments. Okay. As P3 starts to activate. So you pushing up now. Let's just say the trades go on again. You're basically giving your team these spawns by pushing up. And you said to me as well, and I agreed. Well, I said it and you agreed. On this hill, what do you want? You want to keep your opponents trapped on the left. By you pushing up, you're guaranteeing your team to spawn there. If they get the kills. Okay. That's why against good players, plays like this will cost you the game. Because before you know it, right now, let's look at the kill feed, okay? Let's look at the kill feed. Forget this, just kill doesn't matter, let's look at the kill feed. Your teammate wins that gunfight? Okay. If your teammate loses that gunfight, against better players, you're going to spawn your team out. And that is a problem. Everyone watching at home, if you're playing scenarios like this against bad players, against players not as good as you, it's going to work. You're going to get away with it. As soon as you play someone better than you, that's where things spiral. That's where you start to give them map control. So you see two seconds left, you're pushed, look how far you're pushed up right now. If I'm them, they're clearly not pushing through this area. You're getting some great shots off, but this is the problem. The gunfights aren't happening here. Nobody wants to fight here, Fatal. Why do you think no one wants to fight here? Because they want to get out of those spawns. No one wants to be there because no one wants those spawns, right? There's a reason. There's a reason why no one's challenging you here. It's because you are fighting the guy on the hill. Now, this guy on the hill, what do you think he's thinking right now? Do you think he's stressed about this gunfight? If I'm him, I'm like, oh, this guy's chat. That's fine. Like, he can keep challenging me because that means while he's challenging me constantly, right? Surely his team only have three people fighting my three. 
the whole point of scrap time is you sacrifice the rotation for the last 10 15 seconds right so what does that mean it means you put your team in a three versus four However, what you're doing is you're giving him the scrap time and making it a three versus three. You're playing in their hands. That's why I'm really kind of going through this moment. Again, does that make sense? Yeah. During this whole time, you're giving him time, you're giving him time, they're pushing through middle and you can just see the setup isn't what you want. Let's kind of play it out here. So you're going through and you're pushed up a little bit. The problem I have isn't where you're sitting. It's where the opponents are. And I want you to really understand this, okay? Where you're sitting right now, would be good if let's see so you're sitting right there i'm okay with this now this would be really good if your opponents were spawning here would you agree like they were pushing yeah. through this side that would be fantastic i'll be your what a play from you you're pinching that'll be great because what you're hoping for i'm guessing you can correct me if i'm wrong you're hoping for him to push out them to push out you go behind them three piece happy days yeah, that's the right. problem you have is this it's not about your position this is so important it's about their position because think about it, you guys haven't got the kills yet and if you look at the mini map where are where's your team right now your team is all like this if you look on the mini map now i'm not going to guess they're coming from there i'm going to guess they're coming through the back apartments trying to break through top middle trying to get plat control Basically, if I was them, I would try to break two people through the back apartments, two people through top apartments. So can you see now how your spot has completely become irrelevant now? Because they could easily go through the stairs and through back apartments without even going through you. Right, yeah. Based on their spawn. And that's where you got to identify. So you need to look right now and say, right, it's been 10 seconds. No one's been here. What does that mean? It means they're not pushing this area. So you can see, you're, I, I'm so confident you're not going to do anything right now. And this is it. This is the key moment. You're sitting here. You're sitting here. For me, this is a red flag. This is like, yo, we need to get the fuck out of here. No one's pushing me. This is what you got to identify, okay? Now, mini map. Pay attention to the mini map for me, okay, bro? Right. Now, when he dies, let's see where he's... Right there. What has just happened? I want you to tell me from the mini map. The second I paused it, what can you see right there? It spawns flip. Okay. Now, where did your teammate spawn? Where did your teammate spawn right there? P2. Okay, so one of them spawns P2. The second he spawns P2, right? I've paused it for you. You should be like, shit, I need to get out of here. I need to now make a play. I need to help my teammate. So right now you have one teammate there. <clears throat> one, one teammate just died. He's going to spawn with him. So you now have the opponents pinching your teammates. He's basically in a 1v3. Can you see how this last minute's folded are played out? Yeah. So you see you're going to help him. You're going to help him. He's dead now, okay? So now you're helping him. He's now spawning out. He killed one. Where's that player going to spawn? Back apartments. <clears throat> now you're in a 1v4, basically. Let's just play it out. <coughs> Sorry about that. Again, against better players, what do you think the difference is? Right, I, I want to pause it right now and really talk about what's going on. I think you get very lucky here. The players you're going up against, I think you're better than. I'm trying to train you for players that are better than you. If you're going up these stairs in a one versus four, realistically, look where your teammates are. No one's with you. They should have at least two people here, right? right? Do you think this is a good play from you? No, absolutely not. But it works out. And this is the biggest thing I'm trying to teach people when I'm coaching them. Because you make a play, just because it works doesn't mean it's a good play. It means they might have fucked up. So look at this. You're going through. If I was him... If I was that player there, I would have been ready for this gunfight. If he kills you now, you are back to the bases. You're back to there. And what did we say about two minutes ago? Where do you want to be in P3? You want to trap your opponents on the left side. So you can see they've done that to you, right? Now, good play from you. Get the first kill and you take out the second, right? I think they should have killed you there. So for me, that was their mistake. So just to back off a little bit, if you're the other side, okay? If you're on the other team and you get three down, and you're here. What are you thinking? You're thinking the fourth guy has to be pushed out. So you need to be ready for that fourth guy. If they killed you here, they could have trapped you. Then what they would have done, if I was their coach, I was telling them, I would say, right, the second you get a three piece, I want somebody watching the front hill. I want somebody top plat. I want someone watching bottom uh, apartments. And I want somebody watching tunnel. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is what I would have said to them. The second they get the three piece, I want them to move. I want them to change their strategy because if you're spawning up right now, if you're telling your teammates spawning up here, what are you telling them right now with, with how long left? With 25 seconds, what are you telling these three? 
I don't mind one of them like helping you or two, but I'm saying at least at least one of them goes for the, the P4 rotation, maybe two of them, right? So just like you said, they're going to rotate. So if I'm number four right now, this is how you could read the game, okay, bro? If you were on the other side, this is what I'm giving you the, the information. If you were playing as them and you just got three down with 25 seconds left and you're back apartments, you should think, right, they're going to spawn P2. Let's block off tunnel. They're going to come through tunnel. And that is how you get ahead of the rotations. So you should be watching tunnel. He should be watching middle. This guy watches the front. You push through. They kill you. They should have killed you. You spawn back there. They get you guys in a blender. But you did a great job. You got some kills. You go through. You're by yourself there. You get a two-piece. But just like I said, there was three of them there. First things first, trophy system for you. I think that was just a must right there. But you played your life really well. Really, really well playing your life. You're probably going to die now. But that's okay. You distracted them. Now... Although I'm giving you credit, I think they played that horribly, okay? So I'm going to take a little bit of credit away from you. I think they trolled, but you did what you needed to do. Again, you're spawning back P2 exactly where you don't want to be. What do the opponents do wrong here? What do you think the opponents did wrong in this scenario? Just so we can understand the full picture. Uh, they didn't rotate and committed too much to P3. The second they got a three-piece, they should have rotated. 100% you're correct. They should have had a better setup. But look how many people are there. There are three people trying to challenge you right there. They couldn't kill you. So what you did right now is perfect because you're baiting them you're getting as much info you're basically bringing them towards you this is really good play from you okay and now we go towards p2 this guy pushes out i don't love the play from him i think he's going to really mess up spawns there you go it's just you can see what i'm saying like people don't know what they're doing so if you can have some ideas of spawns fatal you're going to literally wipe the floor with them so that guy pushing out what has he done right now let's see so you're going through you're going through tunnel although he gets a kill here that could mean he gets a kill what does he do here let's see he gives you the spawn apartments. So that death for you was so valuable. If I said to you right now, you're going to spawn here. Someone's going to kill you. And then you're going to spawn there. What would you say? You're like, oh, I'll take that all day long. Oh, yeah. And that's what he's done. That's why when I say kills are not all the same value, that is why. Great shots here. Good shots from you. I would say just a bit of advice. When you have a uh, an AR, I think a frag grenade is more useful because the engagements you get into are normally more medium range. However, if you like Semtex, feel free to use Semtex. Just, that's me personally. I know Kenny likes a Semtex, but yeah, that's just me personally. I, I think a frag is better with an AR. So right now, you're going to go through. Maybe chuck a stun there. I don't mind that. And then again, it's just about predicting the next thing, okay? So right now, my first think of danger was the same as you. I'm thinking, right, the guy that kills me is going to be there. But let's forget him for a second. Where are the rest of the opponents going to come through? Where were you pre-aiming before you died? Before Where, where were you pre-aiming? Uh, Mid-tunnel, mid right? I saw that tunnel, yeah. um, like the bottom garage, right? Yeah. So the second you shoot, right, let's see when you shoot. Okay, the nade comes out, you shoot. If I'm garage right now, if I'm the red team and I'm garage, okay, and this is you, you're shooting my teammate right here, you're shooting, what am I going to do? I'm going to pre-aim you because I know you're shooting, I can see you. So as soon as you shoot, you look to the left, he's already pre-aiming you. That was just the, one of those fairly obvious ones that you kind of missed in the moment. But do you see how it plays out? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. You spawn behind them, 25 seconds. It's an even game. You know what? Same thing. If I push this hill, am I going to get anything? Probably not. I'm probably getting 10 seconds. And this is where we need to work on. Right there, you cannot die in this scenario because a good team is going to punish you right now. 25 seconds left. Let's play it out. They get 25 seconds. You get the next hill, you get 60. You're up 35, okay? It's a long game. It's not a short game. You've got to play the long game. Right now, you going for these kills. I don't mind you trying to get the guy off hill, but you need to play it safer. You see you over committing, now you die. This just isn't what you... Like, now you get two-piece. Now it's like, oh, shit. We've given up so much map control. Now you're probably going to spawn top middle. Oh, no, you spawn there. This spawns all over the place, to be honest with you. But if you spawn top middle there and they push through tunnel, you would have given up map control there for no reason, okay? So right there, I would say just be careful. Play your life a bit. Maybe play top tickets, top P2, and just really play your life. Now, I want you to look at the minimap right now. Right now, what's empty? What's missing right now? Uh, garage control. Garage. So let's play it out. This is past version of Fatal. I know a new version would have had garage covered, but let's see. Let's play this out. Someone pushes garage now, okay? Let's imagine what happens right now. Probably gets a two-piece. Probably fries you both. None of you look in garage. Guess what happens? He pushes garage. Right? You're too reactionary in these moments. So you said it with me. Right now, garage is empty. Your teammate is watching left. Is it easier to control yourself or your teammate? Myself. Okay. So even if you said, look, oh, I was watching the left first. I'll be like, look, bro, I don't really care. You can't control Rakin right now. You can control yourself. This is up to you to look at the minimap and say, right, my teammate has got the left side, okay? I need to pick up Garage right now. 
And this is what I mean. Look at these one or two seconds. Imagine if a good player was Garage right now. He probably kills both of you. Okay? So you see you go in, and now you're watching it. You're watching the same thing tunnel. Your teammate ends up picking up Garage, and then you pick up Garage. What do you think about that? That whole little sequence there? Yeah, I think it definitely could have been cleaner. Yeah? Um, I think that's a big thing. It's not even as wrong. It's just cleaner, right? I think a lot of these could have been a lot cleaner. Because now your teammate's dead, and now look what you're doing again. Same thing. I need you to be a little bit more efficient with your just yourself. Like you're, you got a good shot. You need to be more efficient with your time and your kills. Right now, you should have been watching Tunnel. You should have killed this guy, okay? The second you kill him, let's stop for a second. Where do you think your teammate is going to spawn right now? Uh, probably P3 area. Okay. And where are your other two teammates? Uh, they're on point. P5. Okay. So out of everything, okay, out of everything, what does your team have? Right now, if you're the blue team, they have um, tickets, I would say, okay? Would you agree with that? Yeah. Out of everything, we could say the one thing these idiots have is probably ticket right now, okay? The team are like, they're lost right now, but the one thing these guys have is tickets. The one thing you're watching right now is a ticket cross. And this is what I mean by efficiency. Look at this when you get the kill, right? Look at this. This bit here for me is wasted. Look what you're doing. First of all, what are these two idiots doing? What's going on, Phil? We need to have a word with these idiots. Why are they both on the... One of them needs to get on the hill, all right? First of all, so I'm going to put them together because I don't know what they're doing. But the second you see your teammates are there, you have to trust them to get that cross, okay? Honestly, that might have been why I looked over there because there's two people over there and <laughs> none of them on the hill. <laughs> That's a good point. You're 100% right. But right now, you need to be thinking of the bigger picture because you're watching two idiots. Now there's three people distracted right now. We need to think, right... They could be coming through tunnel or garage. You have two things to watch, okay? So you need to be watching that and watching that. And then eventually your teammates will correct themselves and get on the hill. Let's see what happens. And now you can see, because you weren't watching that, what happens? When you recenter onto him, he's already shooting you. And now look, now you're watching the right, you're chucking a nade over, but you see how many, how much gaps you have? Like, you're giving them so much room to work with. They're going through, one's probably pushed through underneath you, and now you're repositioning. You see what I mean though? Like, it could be so much smoother. Again, you get the yeah. kills, but for me, against a better team, like, they don't give you that opportunity. Now your teammate's pinching. Straight away, I'm going up the stairs, and I'm watching Garage. Same thing. I'm watching Garage right now. You're leaving these big areas out. Look, he gets through. Again, you're going to hold the setup. That's not the problem. My problem is against a better team, they're going to punish you, right? I don't want you to think, oh, I, I got away with it. No, I want you to think, no, but against a better team, they're going to punish you right now. Same thing. So you go through, you rewind it. This should be cleaner. As soon as you die, take him out. You should be watching Tunnel right now and Garage. You should not even worry about the right. If they go through the right, it's a tough one. It is what it is. Right now, you should be watching Tunnel, watching gar Garage. Look at that. That guy, you should have killed him before he even got there. That should have been a kill. Now he gets you weak. You're like, shit, I'm tweaking. Okay? You have a grenade. That's fine. I don't mind using the grenade there. And now you're a little bit weak because of the earlier gunfight. You're going to reposition again. I don't mind the reposition, but it's just about we need to try avoid it when we can. So you go through. I actually don't mind this. You get a kill. There's another one in the tunnel. The second your teammate jumps down now like this, right now, the second your teammate jumps down, what's open? Uh, garage. Garage? What about tunnel? How's tunnel right now? Oh, it's, it's you know, he's got the pants. There's nobody yeah? tunnel. But yeah. what do you do? You hold tunnel. Again, very small detail, but you can see you're holding what your teammates have. Can you see what I mean, though? It's been very picky. And although I'm picking at one, two seconds here and there, it's very important because if you don't pick these things up at a faster pace, that's what's going to cost you those games. Because now your garage against a better team again, they probably pinch it a bit quicker. Do you have anything to say so far? Like, do you agree? Do you think I'm being very picky? Well, what's your kind of thoughts? Yeah, I mean, I definitely think that I guess sometimes I just kind of get lost in the moment and just kind of checking everything um again it's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing it's just i just want you to notice it look let me be honest when i'm playing no matter who i analyze myself whoever there's going to be moments like where you're watching everything that's not my my worry my worry is just that you're not aware of it right so i don't mind you watching the hill right i'm not saying why are you looking there because that would be stupid of me i'm saying if you're going to look there for a second that's okay but your main focus should be these two empty areas oh my right and it's just about right. you understanding that like what's empty right now my teammate spawns tunnel tunnel should be go good i should watch this seven seconds left. i probably should rotate here but if you're going to hold this the whole time then hold it if not then rotate so right now you see you rotating let's see how this one goes oh that's a bit unfortunate i think you got a trigger to spin there you know getting shot jumping through yeah again for me it's just like you're trying a lot of these these challenges that don't make sense and they work against page or better than like right now they've got a setup there is no way 
you're just jumping through and getting in right now for free with an AR. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, if they just let you get there, that's just on them. So you see you go through, almost get him to be fair. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I don't know how you end up behind in there. But now you're going to go through. Sometimes just play your life a little bit. Just play your life. Wait for your teammates to pinch and just go through together. Let's see how you break this. Same thing. Like I, okay, first of all, that's a fucking quick ass jump. All right, fail. I'll give you that was a quick ass jump, and you were fucking moving there. I don't know how they let you get in. So for me, you sneak in, but I, they just shouldn't let you, bro. They shouldn't let you get in, to be honest. But they do. So here's what it is. I, I'm surprised they let you get in like that. Now you're gonna go through. You're still trying to like get this the same side. You're gonna do the exact same jump in. Of course you are. <laughs> you're gonna use your equipment. Um, and yeah, right now they're getting a lot of time on P1. You are getting the P2 time. Um, you know, you got the setup, so it's not the end of the world. I think right now, with you being the only one here, your job is just to try to contest this as long as possible. Like, right now, what it looks like to me is you're trying to get the time and really, like, desperately play for the time. I think you need to play for the kills right now. Let me let me explain. What your job is right now? What, what is your job right now? What's your goal on this P1? Uh, right here, I guess, would be to distract them until my teammates come to reinforce. Exactly. And, and another thing is, I don't think you necessarily need this time. I think your job is just to maximize your pressure. And basically, if you can just stop them from getting the full 30 seconds, I think you'll take that, right? If you, Even if they get 15 out of 30, you'll be okay with that because you're going to get the P2. So right now, it's an even game, right? Wherever they get here, you should get about 50 seconds on the P2. So as long as you get like the full time on the P2, you need to stop them from getting a lot of time here. So right now, like even your stuns, they just try to get them off the hill. You don't necessarily need to get on there yourself, but just stop them from getting on there. You're by yourself, so it's a bit difficult right now. But again, just using your equipment, just little things to make it a bit easier for yourself. That's a bit unfortunate, to be honest. <laughs> but you go through 20, 20 seconds. Now this is the problem I have. Because you're so committed to this P1, what you forgot to do is read the pressure right. Because you were trapped in this room, right? You ended up, trying to stay under the radar here you end up not moving staying under the radar and what happened now is the whole of ticket is empty they're pushing through ticket right now this is the problem again you're leaving your teammates in a two versus two if they were better than your team and they killed them you would have lost the game from this point does that make sense yeah but can you see why or are you just saying yeah because i want you to really understand what my side is like no, if you're no, yeah it. because look your yeah. teammates now look someone's in garage look at me right someone's in garage your teammate spawns bar, but there's three of them there. There's three of them on the new hill now. Your teammate just died. Your teammate just died right now. So although you're fighting for 15, you've actually given up P2. And that's what you were fighting so hard to protect. And this is the problem. All these little decisions. Guess what? You guys have lost P2. You guys have lost P2 there. Now, is it your fault? It wasn't just your fault. It was more your teammate's fault. However, what could you have done differently? I think instead of trying to constantly jump through this window and just really just get in the hill and get mixy, you play with your team, get some kills, put the pressure on them. You had no pressure on them. You were just sitting in this area the whole time. For the last like 20 seconds, you were kind of just sitting in this room. Where is it? You were just sitting in this room here and they had one person on the hill. So while it was a 1v1, your teammate was dead over there. Your other teammates... Your last two teammates were in the hill. And this was your current setup for P1. Like, if this was your setup, what would you say? If you you were the coach of this team and this was your P1 setup? Uh, yeah, there definitely needs to be somebody watching ticket or putting pressure. Exactly. The That's the big gap, 100%. Because right now, they have someone here and they have someone here. And do you, this is my point. Do you remember the spawn trap I told you at the start? What is the P2 way to break it? You want somebody there. Like, you want to trap them in the tunnel, right? They're basically... Your team is three quarters the way of being trapped. This is exactly what I said. The only way to lose P2 is to give up P5. And that's exactly what's happening. So now you spawn P5. They're actually on the hill. This is not good right now. This is terrible. You get the first kill. Good good plays from you. Let's see how you break here, okay? Really, really small detail. Do you think pushing this is the best play? The way you pushed it? No. No, I don't. Because you, it's like you're asking for a gunfight right now. If I saw anyone pushing this area, I'm like, this is a confident man right now. Fatal is fucking confident. Because nobody pushes this area, there's no cover. And you realize straight away, you're like, oh shit, you ran away. So straight away, you want to push through this left side, just get these kills going. Now, your teammate's pinching the hill, right? Remember what I said earlier? The only way to break it is like this. So you're actually breaking the way you're supposed to. You get pressure through garage. You get pressure through P5. You put pressure on them. Let your teammates pinch them. So right now, you should look at the minimap and say, shit, my teammate's pinching them. I need to put pressure here. I cannot die here. You see? That's the difference. The second you die, what happens? What do you think happens the second you die? 
it opens up that p5 area and they start spawning out not only does it open up p5 when they spawn out that's a big thing the, for me the key thing is they're so distracted right now they're so distracted by p5 the second you die they're gonna be like, oh hang on let's watch tunnel the second they look at tunnel this poor guy flanking's dead you're not trying to win the game here you're trying to buy time for your team does that make sense yeah yeah so that's the time that there's been a few times now in the game where like this is where you need to think right what is my goal here? I don't need you to get a four piece of fatal. I need you to put damage on this guy, make him go prone and just back him away. The second you die to him, your teammate's dead on the pinch because they're turning around now. Look at the kill feed. There's three, your last guy's there and now you spawn on the pinch as well and he just dies. Do you see he just died there tunnel now? Yeah. If you stayed alive, he probably could have pinched it. Oh, bad cruise, terrible cruise. Really, really bad cruise missile. You're sitting in tunnel, right? Your whole team is dead. Your whole team has to push tunnel right now. There is no reason to cruise. It's not going to protect you, in my opinion. If they're on the hill, they, they're they still going to be on the hill. GG's, what was the score? Yeah, I think you really, really wasted a cruise here. I like the effect. A little bit of like a little bend there, but you can see there's just, you see that the cruise have no effect on the hill. Absolutely nothing. You got him off for three seconds. I think you would have been more beneficial holding that for a P3 or a P5. Probably a P5. Okay, what do you think of that cruise missile? Yeah, I agree. When I did it, after I did it, I kind of... <laughs> you were like, ah, oh, shit. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those ones, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, it was like... Oh, I'm not going to lie that one, man. I need, you need to cut out the edit, man. <laughs> <laughs> now you're chilling, man. Hey, again, mistakes are good. That's what we're learning from. New hard point, 10 seconds left. Just to kind of look through, you were actually even, man. You guys were even. You gave them a shit ton of time on the P1 and the P2 rotation. Those two rotations, getting you guys in the deficit. The streak could have saved your game, but it didn't. Now you go through, the guy's behind you. Again, it's just about map control. Right now, you don't need to like, what is your goal here? Your goal is to have apartments, go through and get the hill, right? What you're trying to do is you're trying to trap the opponents through here. Same thing, you're trying to get them through the left, okay? So right now you're going through, you're watching this area. This, for me, is too late to watch. Let me explain. You have two people on the old hill. What does that mean? It means two people have already rotated. Okay? Right. They've already rotated right now. So you watching this garage, you're trying to watch for someone rotating now. We can see from the minimap, someone's already top fire. You Maybe you didn't see it in the moment. Someone's right on top of you there. But just straight away, with them getting kills, what that tells me is they're not trapped in their spawn. They actually have map control. They already have two people around the point and, and top middle so if i'm you right now i'm trying to play the back apartments and just get these kills trying to spawn them out again but you pushing up here the problem you have is this you're standing right there it only works if they're coming through garage does that make sense yeah, yeah. which is what you're playing for but they've already pushed out so you're just a little bit too late there okay this only works once you get four down once you get four down i love this play because you know they're spawning p2 but right now yeah no one's going to be there you go through he ends up going through and let's see what happens do you spawn out okay so you push this side again this is the problem for me you're getting the kill it's kind of the exact same thing you've actually just given up apartments and probably spawned them there to be honest like, let's say you're red team right now. It's a weird one. I don't know exactly where they're going to spawn, but let's just play it out. You've basically stood here, right? You've pushed this area. You've killed the guy off the hill. And if anything, for me, you've actually given them more of a chance of spawning back apartments. Like, you've just killed Jack there, right? And now let's see where they spawn. I'm, gonna say, I'm actually interested to see where they spawn. Okay, so they still... Okay, I don't really know where they spawned. But for me, I think you just pushed out a little bit too far. And you kind of gave it up. But it's not the end of the world. You can see the spawns all over the place at this point. So when no one's really anchoring and things all over the place, this is what happens. Look at this. You spawn behind this guy. Yeah. So this hill's just a mix fest. And the biggest thing for me, again, was just you just playing power position. Look at it. This is so stupid. How are you spawning right? Nobody's right there. <laughs> that is crazy. But yeah, it's just a mix fest. You get through, you get one, put a trophy down. Maybe watch your top middle here. Oh, oh, fate, what's going on there? <laughs> Again, just trophy system, shit like that. So right now, there's three of you on this hill. I would be more worried about the bigger picture, exactly what we spoke about earlier. Once you get the kills, where are they spawning? Uh, uh, tunnel. Yep, exactly. So right now, if I'm them, and there's three people on P3, I'm like, you know what, that's fine. I'm just, I'm pushing through tunnel. I'm pinching, I'm, if I'm them, I'm doing this. I'm trapping you guys on this side of the map. 
Like that. That's literally what I'm doing. So every time, as you guys rotate, they're going to kill you and spawn you out there. That's what I would do because they only need 40 seconds. So once you see three people on your team on the hill, you should be like, I need to get out of here. Good shots. Good wall bang. Great shots there. It's just right now you're the only one on the hill, so you can stay here. Again, not the end of the world, but your teammates need to rotate, which they are. And right now, 15 seconds left, you should be thinking. Right now, did you look at the minimap and think, right, where are they coming from? That's a bit unfortunate. I don't I don't blame you there. Uh, one way you could have possibly improved that was as soon as you get this kill, they know where you are, right? Because you're on the minimap. As right. soon as your teammate gives it up, maybe you back off and you watch mid-stairs. The reason why is because when you're watching mid-stairs, like when you're sitting here watching it, are you on the hill from that? You're, I'm pretty sure you're on the hill there. I don't actually. So you know if they can test the hill, if they can test the hill, at least you know they're coming from there. So yeah, maybe just watch between the both again. Just a small detail, but because now you end up dying. Yeah, I would have probably head glitched like stair glitched that. And if they contested it, you would have known they're there. Because now you're spawning out again. So you guys, you can see like you guys just don't have a lot of control of the spawns. Now you're running, running for your life. Again, these little pre aim and stuff like this is fine because you're you're uh, watching the front. But as soon as you okay, how the hell do you guys break this? This is crazy. For me, you guys should get punished there. You shouldn't break this hill, but somehow they gave it to you. <laughs> So good shots, you and your teammate get the first guy, you go through, and again, they get you three kills. I want you to realize against better teams, you get punished there. The fact that you get away with this is great, and let's see what you do here. So you're gonna go through? Okay, interesting. Very interesting. I don't like people sitting like this the way you are. For me, there's no value. What you're doing is you're inviting so much pressure. What I would rather you do is shoulder this. If Okay, let me ask you a question. If you're coming through tunnel right now, okay, and this player is sitting like this. What is is that an easy or a hard push for you? Uh, I think it depends. Um, God, I think if there's hit me somebody, with it. Like you know, God steps. I I think it's it'd be a yeah. hard push regardless. I agree. Um, now but let I, me change the question actually because that's that's not really a fair question. Right now, do you think you could be doing more than this? With your teammates both watching this, and you're number three right now. Do you think there's more you could be doing right now than then watching the window when you have two team? This is your current setup right now. When you look yeah, at it like that, yeah. that's a different question. Right now, what do you think you could be doing instead? I think I could be in the, either in the back, watching yep. the back door, or um, kind of watching to the number one's left down that okay, little tunnel. Okay, perfect. So what I would say is, if you're going to watch the front, let's say he was watching the back, okay, and this guy was God Steps. The problem I have with this is you're allowing them to push through tunnel and get it, make it mixy a little bit. I don't mind you playing your life. That's good. But at least throw a shoulder. Let them know they can't just run in for free. Because your problem right now is you're letting them get here. If they get here and chuck a stun on that wall, then you're dead. You don't want to let them get to this point. Do you know what I mean? You want to put pressure on them. Right. Now, as soon as you're, you're watching this window, the team is watching the front. You're in a spot where you have two teammates watching the front. You need to identify that. Now, this is what I said earlier. You were the first player here. So you might say, oh, I was first player here. It doesn't matter. The game doesn't care who was first. You need to look at that and say, okay, I'm going to actually go to the back and watch our flank from here because my teammates don't need me right there. I'm going to watch the flank. And then with 30 seconds left, 25, I'm going to start making a play through. But that's what I want you to pick up on, okay? A bit more of the, the pacing and stuff like that. Look at this. You're watching, now your teammate dies. No one's watching tunnel right now. This is so important. You have stun and nade. Your teammate's dead. You need to shoulder. Chuck a stun. Chuck a nade. Throw some shoulder. Just make them a bit paranoid. I'm not saying go and die, but just make it. Make them a bit paranoid. Look what you're doing. Now you're watching the back. There's no one at the front. There's no one really watching your front right now. And you just, for me, it's not the best play. He came through the window. He probably could have killed you there. Okay? Again, you got your equipment. 25 seconds left here. Good play from you. I love the reposition. That was great from you. That was really good. That's what I want to see more of. Okay? That was great. So your gunfights are fine. I forgot to say I'm an optic fan. I don't like your camo. I don't fuck with it. I'm joking. <laughs> I wear the same shit. I'm an optic fan. <laughs> I just realized the whole time. I was like, wait, fuck this camo. <laughs> so you're going through. Eight seconds left. Bro, you can leave this point, man. I'm okay for you there. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm more than okay with that. You need to win this point. Um, This next hill is massive. Let's see how you break it. Oh, what happened yeah. there? What happened there? That, Fail. That What's going on? <laughs> See, it's what if you had optic camo, it wouldn't have happened. Hashtag optic. Oh, yeah. Hashtag that's green wall. <laughs> yeah, right now, uh, that's just you. 
don't know. Don't know what to say about that one, Fatal. <laughs> yeah, you kind of panicked uh, me a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one thing I would say again is a frag grenade, man. With a frag grenade, a lot of the nades you're trying to hit, you're trying to go for some fucking really long, long range grenades. I just think the frag grenade will be more suited for your playstyle. Again, it's just something to explore. Maybe you try it out, you like it, maybe you don't. But I feel like a lot of the nades you're throwing are at a distance. I feel like a frag would really help you. But right uh, now, I don't mind where you're going. What were you going to say? I did used to run frags. Um but I switched to some yeah. Texas. Again, that's just, it's no problem, man. They're both good in its own way. But just from this specific map that we've seen, it looked like you probably would have benefited from a frag. Again, like you said, though, there's, there's no problem with either, man. There's no problem with either. Um, yeah, I'm going to put that down to just unfortunate. It's all good. As soon as you die now, the problem we have is your teammates were pinching, right? So you wanted to just put some pressure on them and go for the pinch there. And that's what we got to work on because, again, I don't think they had a good setup right now. Their setup was very compact, okay? You could see how easy it was for you to get through tunnel. So as you're breaking this, are you feeling more or less confident right now than you should be? I think you're in a pretty good spot. What would you say? Yeah. Now, yeah. Why, this is what I mean by reverse engineering. Why do you think you're in a good spot? Because I'm able to get through tunnel and we got exactly. somebody at too. Exactly. Because you're able to put the pressure on them. If I was them, I would have had someone top P2 watching tunnel. Remember what I said to you earlier, the exact same thing. So now yeah. you're going through. You're not the main guy here. You're not the main character, Fatal. You know you are. You're the distraction right now, okay? So you need to distract them because what's more likely? You to push and break the hill or your teammates to push and break the hill well, right there. Your teammates are more likely because they're closer. But what you should be doing right now is making as much noise as possible, making as much noise, making as much distractions, making sure they're all looking at you. Okay, if it was your time right now, you need to put a show, make sure they're all looking at you. You have a teammate top window. This is your time to pinch. You two are right here. You are distracting two of them. As this is going on, you have two people. This is perfect. This is exactly what you want. We don't know where the rest are, but what's happening is they're probably spawning up and they're probably coming behind your teammates, okay? So you right now, if possible, need to get at least one kill. Does that make sense? Is this okay right now? Yeah. But this is the problem. You go through, you get some great shots off, you distract him. As soon as this guy overcommits, man, as soon as he overcommits, you should have snaked the shit out of his head glitch or, or just gone behind it. At worst, distract, distract him. At best, take him off the head glitch. The second you kill that guy, they're done. They, they get pinched because your teammates are there. They both would have been dead. They would have spawned behind them. You would have been good to go. As soon as you die, oh shit, now look. Now they're there. Your team gets traded. Just from that one death there, you now have to chase it again. And now they're set up. Great shots from you. I love the shots from you. 10 seconds left. You're going to have to push through. You know what will be really good right now? A cruise missile. Oh, wait, you used it on a P2 fatal. Yeah, this is what yeah? I was thinking. Like, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Same thing, man. It's set up so hard to break right now. You're going through. Again, wanted you through the left there. And that's probably going to be it, man. You, you're, not even, you're not even chasing them, man. You've had enough. You're going to the stairs. Now, that was a lot. That was one of my longest sessions. 52 minutes because there was a lot to break down. This, on paper, you had the better team. You had a better team. You went 17 and 15. You got a lot of time in the hill. But gun skill-wise, you were, you were shooting, bro. You were pissing on them. You got a cruise missile. And... I think you could have dropped a 25 kill game, a 30 kill game, and just put more pressure on them. I feel like for me, a, thing, a big thing was you were just pressurizing wrong and you were reading the map pressure completely wrong. I think that was the biggest kind of thing. What What do you think about everything we kind of went through? Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of agree. Um, I think that is probably my weakest thing is like anticipation and being able to yeah. read things the best. Um, do you think from what we went through, there was, do you think what we went through, there's a few times you're like, okay, that makes sense now, like going forward? Yeah, absolutely. That's good. That, that's the goal. Because there was a few times where we could clearly see that you're reading the pressure wrong and they just spool behind you and like, oh, shit. Yeah. But we'll, um, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on. I'm just going to end the recording then. We'll carry on Um, we'll carry on discussing. Uh, but YouTube, you guys know the drill because I want to end it under an hour. YouTube, uh, make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Shout out to the boy Fatal. Fatal, thank you so much for letting us use your gameplay. You were great to work with. And yeah, YouTube, show me some love. Subscribe if you guys are new. If you guys want some coaching, make sure to drop a message on Discord. There is a coaching section where you can create a ticket. And yeah, I look forward to working with more of you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.